Hello children, welcome back. I am Mwanda Hamid, taking you through mathematics. So children, uh, last time in our previous lesson, we looked at subtraction of numbers, of whole numbers, without regrouping. And at the end of the lesson, I gave a certain activity. And what I'm going to do, just like as usual, when I'm going through this work, I don't go through all. I just go through some few numbers to remind you such that you go and correct yourself in case of anything wrong somewhere. But still, we shall reach some time and get back those books to check through. So my children, I've selected two numbers from our previous activity. And these two numbers are here. I selected number three and number five. So number three had subtraction of three digit number. I mean two digit number from three digit number. That's why I've selected it. So this is 242 take away 22. You realize this one has three digits and this one has two digits. So what do we do? We still arrange vertically. And when we are arranging, we fall place values. We know this is ones, ten, and hundreds. But on the second number, we have ones and tens. So when we are arranging uh, the number under ones, will match with the number under ones on the upper number. Then the number under tens will also match with the number un under tens on the other first number. That is how we arrange it. So this is four. I mean, two hundred forty-two. Then twenty-two. So two is um, under ones, and it is matching with uh, two under ones on the other first number. Then the second two is under tens, and it is matching with four. That is also under tens. That's how you arrange them. Don't begin them from this way. You still begin from ones place value. Then after arranging, what are we going to do? We are going to put that part of work, then we have two take away two equals to zero. Two take away two is zero. For those ones who are draw balls, you'll still draw two and again remove two. So you are going to get zero. Then I come and write here zero. I go to the next one, I have four take away two. What is four take away two? You can draw one, two, three, four. Then I remove one, two. So four take away two is one, two. This is two, I come and write it here. Very, very smartly. Now, what about this one here? There is nothing here, but still we have also to work it out in part of work. So if there is nothing here, that means zero. Now you will come and say two take away zero equals to two. So I'll come and write here two. What is the answer? 200. 20. I, I hope you have that in number three. Number three, the answer is 220. Check your answer. If you have it, that means you pass all the other ones. Then number four, I mean number five. So after this, I'll come and underline smartly, like a smart kid, just like that. So I'll go to my next number, number five. I picked three and five. The rest we are going to check and do them well. So number three is saying 973 take away 621. So still we begin from ones, place value ones, from this side going to that side. So we shall have three take away one equals two. What is three take away one, my children? That is a two. I write here two, then I also come and write two there. Then I have seven take away two equals to five. Seven take away two five, I mean seven take away two is five. So I will come and write here five. Then lastly, I have nine take away six. What is nine take away six? Nine take away six is a three. For those who are going to draw balls, it is okay, it is allowed. You draw nine, one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then I remove three. I mean I remove six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So what remains? 
One, two, three. My answer is three. Then after that, I will come and write it there. And then uh, get your ruler and double underline smartly. So uh, that, uh, that is our previous work. I hope you did the activity. And I think you passed all numbers. Why? Because you learned. You learned them. And you know these are very, very simple things. They are very simple. So I know you did and passed all. You passed all. Thank you so much. If you think there is somewhere where you went wrong, you can sit down, concentrate, and write your correction. So uh, my good children, uh, today we have another lesson, and it is also uh, about subtraction of numbers. But this time, we are going to subtract numbers with regrouping. Remember, the other one was subtraction of numbers without regrouping. And now today we have subtraction of numbers with regrouping. So what do we mean here? We are going to see. What do we do? We have 41, take away 23. 41, take away 23. So what are we going to do? We are still going to arrange these numbers vertically. So we are going to have 41 well spaced like that. Take away 23. Can write 3 here. It is under 1, so I write it uh, below 1. Then 2 under 10s, I write it below 4. Because 4 is under 10s. Then after that, shall have these are equal symbols. Then part of work and then operation sign so watch here look here attentively what is one take away three you realize one is small so what do we do we regroup the next number the neighbor we run to the neighbor and regroup are you getting me children one take away three one is small but we regroup and which one do we regroup the next number, the number in the next place value. So before you do here anything, you first regroup and make sure that this number is bigger than the number down. That's when we can go and subtract. So what do we say? One take away three. One is small, but we regroup the next number. So when we regroup, we cross it out and we are picking one ten because it is under tens. So we pick one. 10. Now, when we pick one 10 here, we shall remain with three tens. These are three tens. So if we get a single number here and say the value of this will be 30 because it's under tens. So we remain with three tens. We take one 10 here. Now, one 10 plus one, we get 11. 10 plus one is 11. So here we shall have 11. Let me try to use a different uh, color to show you. So we get one here. We are regrouping and we shall have it here. So I try to change the color so that you know that this one was one and we go to 110 to add to this one and then we have 11. So when we have 11, what are we going to do? We shall now come and say 11 take away 3 equals to <coughs> what is 11 take away 3? We are going to <coughs> we are going to draw 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And we are removing 3. So we are going to have 1, 2, 3. So it remains 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 11 take away 3 is 8. So I will come here and write 8. Finish that. Now remember... Here you removed one, so you regroup, you removed one, and it is no longer four, it is now three. So you will have three, take away two. What is three, take away two? Three, take away two is one. If you are not sure, draw the balls and remove three. So three, take away uh, two is one. Then after getting the answer, you are now done. It is done deal. You are finished. Come and double underline that is it and you're finished 
have you followed that first example? If you have not followed that first example, or if you have some challenges somewhere, I'm giving another example here, and you must now pay attention to this one, so that you don't uh, get the same issues. Number two, 631, take away 45. 631, take away 45. Now you realize this, this one is a three-digit number, and this one is a two-digit number. So where is the challenge? In arranging. When you arrange wrongly, you'll not get the answer. But when you arrange perfectly, you'll automatically get the answer. So how are we going to arrange? We are going to have 631 well spaced, but not so many gaps like I said in the beginning. Then when I'm writing 45, I'll begin with under ones, what do we have? We have five, so you come here at once and read there, five. Then under tens, what do we have? Four. So you got tens on this number, it is three. So four will be uh, below three. Then after this, I will come and... <coughs> and draw equal symbols, then part of work and then the operation sign. My children, make sure this operation sign does not occupy any place value. If I put it below six, it means it is occupying a certain place value. So put it aside. Don't mix it with these place values, okay? That is right. Now, after that, we are going to subtract. But remember, we are subtracting numbers with regrouping. So look, we begin from ones. What is one take away five? One is small, but we regroup. And where do we regroup? We regroup the number in the next place value after ones, right? And the next place value is tens. So when we come here, when we are regrouping this, we shall have to cross it out and remain with the two. So when we have two, we have picked 110. We have removed 110. So 110 is crossing there. And when we get 110, we shall add it to 1 to make 11 still. So when we have 11, uh, we are going to take away 5 now. After making this number bigger, by regrouping the next number, we shall have 11 take away 5. So what is 11 take away 5? You come and draw 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I'm removing 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So what do I remain with? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 11 take away 5 is 6. Now I come and write here 6. I got the next number. Now when I regrouped this, it was 3. So, it remained with the 2. So, this is the 2. Now, what is 2 take away 4? Still, you realize 2 is small. And so, what shall we do? We still go to the next number. Now, my children, when we are going to the next number, this one now becomes the, the first one that is 1's now, and the next number is 10. So, we shall still get 110 from the next number. So, when we are regrouping this, we cross it out and we remain with the 5. And we have removed 110. So when we remove 110 to add it to 2, it will be 12 now. So 10 plus 2 is 12. When we regroup a number, the 110 you take, add it to the number that you found there. So here we found 1 and we added 10, we got 11. So here we have found there 2. When we bring 110 from here, we shall get 12. So now we come down and say 12 take away 4 equals to, what is 12 take away 4? 12 take away 4 is 8. But those ones who can say for me, I will not get a wrong answer. They will come and say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And what is 12 take away 4? So I come and remove 4. 1, 2, 
three, four. What remains? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So 12 take away 4 is 8. After getting here, I come and write my answer there. Then lastly, last digit, I have nothing here. You remember, with this, what shall we do? We get that 5 that remains there. 5 take away. Here we have nothing, so we can call it 0. What is 5 take away 0? Remain with 5. So I come and write here 5. So 631 take away 45 is uh, 586. Now, my good children, uh, that is the end of our lesson today. I've given number one, your fold. I've given number two, you still uh, paid attention, I know. And so you have learned something. Now, what am I going to do? I'm giving you here some activities, simple one, and I hope you'll concentrate, do it well. Thank you for listening. We meet again.